looking for a yummy way to study and snack well as well, certified nutritionist Kim Ruby is here with some smart study snacks. Kim, what a great idea because, you know, we, a lot of kids have to study every afternoon, but then you have those little hunger pangs. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to kind of maybe try to reach for some chips or a candy bar. That's kind of what we all like to snack on. But you're saying that there's some foods that not only are good for us, but will help, well, good for kids, but will help them study better as well. Sure. Grade school through college. So these are study. These are the three most common study foods right now in our country. These three: chips, candy, and soda. They provide very quick energy, a lot of sodium, and a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. So the science out there now with Brain Food and Smarts are totally different. And what's coming out is that if you feel stressed and sleepless, there are certain foods that can make you settle down and feel good about an hour before you go to bed. Okay. These are called comfort healthy foods. Okay, what are we talking? We're talking tea. We're talking possibly herb tea, warm milk, hot cocoa, a very low fat, high protein, light drink, a gentle soup that doesn't have a lot of fat in it. These things about an hour before retiring for a kid. Helps a kid go to sleep. Uh -huh. And a college and, student. And a college student, mm -hmm. okay. And so if they're studying though, um, you know, it, there's no. A lot of times you think, well, there's no substitute for chips. You know, they're crunchy, they're salty, they're really good. Sure, but there are new options. There are okay. much better options out okay. there on the shelves. So these are called calming carbs because they release a steady flow of energy into your brain. And I'll bet you didn't know that your brain is the only organ that gets its energy from 100% sugar and glucose. No, I didn't know that. So these give you a serotonin boost. The perfect one is pears, peanut butter, apples, a high protein and a very high fiber um, protein bar, which if you can find any protein bar on the market that has five or six grams of fiber, you're going to be doing real good. Grapes are perfect. Look at these beautiful grapes that are out right now. And the O's cereal. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheery O's and anything ends in O's. O means it's made of oats. Okay. Slow release into the system. And then a new favorite are the pretzels that are high protein. Fairly moderate carb, high fiber made of whole wheat. And boy, do these taste great. Now, Kim, tell us how big of a difference do these foods really make in helping oh. a kid absorb information? I see the math book here and <laughs> other, other okay. school books. This is based on a study, what we're showing you right here. Okay. Very interesting. I see a lot of kids and college students for weight loss. The byproduct of healthy eating and weight loss is, wow, I can focus better now. Mm -hmm. um, I have better energy. I, I do better on tests. Try it. You will be surprised. Okay, so you're saying that it real there is it a connection. It really works. It really works. Okay. And the studies are there. The science is behind it. How, give us some tips to get started. Um, to get started, have mom and dad help with the shopping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't go. Yeah. So what you do is consider two healthy snacks. Okay, okay. Start out small. Start out small. Start out with fruits and vegetables. Okay. And then move on to possibly healthier chips. Okay, well, little baby steps. Everything makes a, yes. a little bit of a difference. Small changes. Small changes. Kim, thank you so much You're for the information. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Good advice. Thank you.